with metal. Uh, we are, of course, continuing on our chain project. Uh, we just need one more Byzantine on this one, and then we're going to the next uh, link. So, uh, let us start by saying hello to chat. Apparently I'm saying halo chat, but that's all right. Anyways, let us then uh, invite people. <clears throat> We're going to do that for another 10 seconds or so, and then we'll go on to groups. Excellent. All right. So now we will start inviting groups. <clears throat> Options, copy, <clears throat> go to groups, excellent, I need to find some more groups, just like a couple more. So what is this? 38, I think. So now we're going to <clears throat> use punctuation and copy, post, hello. Excellent. <clears throat> All right. We are right on time. <clears throat> so... Hello everyone, again, uh, this is the Knitting with Metal series. Uh, right now we are working on some strands of Byzantine and Mobius Ball chain. I've got a nice big bag of rings uh, from home, and let's get started. <clears throat> so, 
So, of course, how's everyone doing tonight? Uh, hopefully really well. I know I am. I, uh, am going to be starting on my way home fairly soon. So that's good. So I've got, uh, doing the Byzantine right now, so I'm going to close off four rings. <coughs> And then we will uh, continue with that pattern. And of course, feel free to uh, talk in the chat area. Uh, that's what it's there for. I think I'm still waiting on people to vote or, you know, give opinions on uh, what... I'm going to name my torch, but if no one takes interest in it, that's fine. I'm just going to call it Nemo, because no one took interest in it. Thank you, Disney, for giving us a very, very depressing fish story. <clears throat> Only Disney could make a, a kid story that depressing. Just saying. Pixar is pretty good. Like, don't get me wrong. Pixar is right up there with Disney, but Disney's definitely been doing it longer. So, <clears throat> we're starting with 2-2 two, two pattern. And then we are uh, flipping the top two down, separating these, and then we're going to grab the middle ones with a ring. It kind of feels nice having a uh, new-ish bag of uh, rings. It's not uh, it's not new by any stretch of the imagination, but I've never gone into these rings, so they don't have random random creations like this. So it's a lot cleaner. And we're actually going to be uh, zooming into my hands in uh, half a minute or so. So that you guys can get a nice close-up view. Alright, so now we have this basic shape. Now, I let go of the bottom, and that's what happens. So now it's one, two, three, four, five sets of two. Now to kind of uh, fix that. We kind of fold these back up. And I'm actually going to place a end piece on this so that it doesn't do that again. So 
so yeah. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, everyone that's coming on that's new. Welcome. This is, of course, Knitting with Metal. Um, we do chain mail. Right now we're making a uh, Byzantine Mobius ball. Uh, chain links. There we go. Excellent. So see how I, so this is two, two, and two, I flip these over, down, and then open these up, and then I'm going to take the outer, uh, inside rings. So yeah, I'm uh, on my way home. Uh, right now I'm stopped for the night, so luckily I don't have to continue driving today. That's always good. Always good news when I don't have to continue driving after doing uh, live. But... Um, I am on my way home, so that's always good. So now I just need to find out which one of these needs the um, length, and it is this one. So now we're just going to add on to... this link. Excellent. So now these are the same length. So now we're starting on a new uh, chain. What do these start with? So that I can make sure I stay consistent. Oh no, this one starts... Nope. Sorry about the beeping. Apparently someone's backing up. Alright, so this one ends in two Besantines. Does this one end in a Besantine as well? I think it does. Yikes. This one ends in a Byzantine as well. So I guess we're starting with Byzantine. Cool. So again, we're, uh, we're opening and or closing up four. I try to do uh, close up and then come back after every five minutes or so. So, 
just to keep it uh, interesting, kind of, if it even keeps it interesting. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I accidentally took away chat for whatever, well, when I was, uh, there we go, when I was, um, trying to uh, zoom in, it, uh, the chat, like, swiped away, and I was like, no, I want to be able to see you guys talk and come in. So, again, we're starting with the uh, four and one. Four closed. One open. And the one goes through. And then you take another one. And you put that through as well. But yeah. Um... Hasn't really been uh, uh, too exciting of a week, but um, I did find a cool game that I am enjoying. And if uh, if I didn't have to uh, record for next week's uh, Pen Dragons Twisted Metals. I'd be playing that with you guys. Um, it's called Among Us, and it's, um, how do you explain it? Uh, Clue-esque. Like, if you like Clue, this is like a fast-paced, like, fast-paced Clue, um, where you have, like, one, up, you have up to, like, ten players, and their little, uh, they're little spacemen, um, and you have up to ten of them, um, they're a crew, but, uh, one to three of them, so it can be one, two, or three of the crew members are actually imposters, and they go around killing the crew while the crew tries to do tasks and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. Uh, like I said, I would probably, like, start a, a, uh, like, gaming party and, like, uh, send the code out. Because you can, you can have, like, private games and whatnot. But, like I said, I have to, uh, record for next week, so, that's not happening, but, if you guys, uh, want, go check it out, it's really fun, uh, and, and hashtag not sponsored, because apparently people do that, uh, I literally just found out about this game. I think it's an indie game, but I'm not entirely sure. But like I said, it's pretty fun. It's called Among Us. But that's about the highlight of my week. Um, boring Pat. But... I, uh, like I said, I do have to get working on, uh, recording for next week's episode. Um, we are, like, I I'm pretty sure that, no, I, I know that I'm, I'm gonna be, um, soldering all of the, uh, bezels together into the Evan Star um, centerpiece. That's that's what I'm gonna be doing tonight.
got to be so, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, stressful, I think the word is. All right, it's been five minutes. We got another piece done. And we are going to um, start on the Mobius ball, which is literally just uh, putting rings into each other. So, literally, you just close a ring, make sure that you keep um, note of where you put in the next ring. So, if I put it in from the top where my indexes into toward the thumb then I need to keep doing that for every single uh, loop and when you put in the next uh, ring always make sure that you put it through all of the layers. I'm also trying to make sure that I'm staying in shot. I think that's the uh, hardest part about this uh, zooming in thing, is staying in shot. <laughs> I kind of wish I had a camera person because of that. Oh, that would make recording so much easier. I don't have to stop every freaking five seconds to adjust the camera or make sure that I'm in frame. So, so far we've got, I think, Four. Yeah, we've got four layered in there. We're going for five now. And it's already starting to get its shape. I actually think I need to open this one up. so that I can fit it in nicely. I think I uh, opened that a little too wide, but we got it back. We got it back. How's everyone doing tonight? Just uh, anyone that's coming on new. Uh, this is, of course, knitting with metal. We do chain mail. Decided to call it that because uh, both knitting and chain mail use patterns and take a very long time. I think this is the last one that can go in here. Maybe not. I'm not sure. We'll see. Nope. 
one more can fit. You want to get it until you can't put um, any more rings in, basically. So if you can move it around and you see a hole that's big enough for a uh, ring, you put that ring in. Yeah, that's nice. Now we're down to the last 10 minutes. There we go. And uh, so now we are going to attach this side. I need to decide what side it was. Of the Byzantine, <clears throat> and the Mobius ball. And now they are forever one. There we go. So, uh, now we are going to continue... Uh, with another Mobius ball. I'm actually going to take two of these rings off because that was the starting point rings. And we don't need those anymore. And we're just going to close... Oh wait, I'm doing a Mobius ball, not a Besantine. Okay. We are not going to close off four. We are going to layer... Okay. So this time I went from my thumb to my index. It's weird. I don't like it. But um, that's what ended up happening. So, now I'm going to have to continue it. Uh, I could, like, make sure that I am, that I switch it, like, to the thumb. I can probably do that. But, and I'm, if, I think I'm going, no, no, I'm not going to. Um, it, it can mess it up, and it's not good. It, uh... I actually messed up a Mobius ball the other week, um, and it was atrocious, to say the least. It was the worst Mobius ball I've ever seen. Actually, I think I'm going to start this Mobius ball over, because I think I already messed it up. So, um... Yeah, it's the, 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 the Mobius balls are pretty, um... Like, you need to make sure that you consistently do them. Um... The correct way. Or else you're going to end up with a jumbled mess that does not uh, flow uh, nicely. Welcome everyone. Uh, I see new people coming in or old people returning. Not entirely sure. Let me know. But yeah, um, so things have been busy on the uh, 
Pendragon's Twisted Metals uh, YouTube. We just got up to over 50 uh, subscribers, and that's great. I thank you all, because you guys are the ones that did it. Not entirely sure why, but obviously I'm doing something right, because you guys seem to subscribe to it and want to, uh, you know, see more, so that is what you're going to see. More. Can I have some more? More? What is that, Oliver Twist, I think? Anyone know? I think that's Oliver Twist. Going back to Disney, I think I liked the, uh... I don't know if it's an Oliver Twist, uh, uh rendition, but it's the, the one with the dogs. Um... Oh, now I can't think of it. But it's the, uh, the, 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 the dog that's, like, uh, walking through, uh, New York, like he owns the place, singing. It's probably, like, Oliver something. Now I'm trying to think of a song. And you guys aren't helping. Hello. We are actually uh, getting down to the last couple of minutes here. You know, I try to make sure that these are just about 30 minutes. They've been they've been going around like 35. That's with the uh, inviting and whatnot. But um, if you all enjoyed this episode. Uh, hit that like button, and if you really liked it, hit the subscribe button, and uh, of course, share to your friends, because um, I don't know them, and I can't. So, uh, it really helps the channel, um, because it lets me uh, get seen by people that I wouldn't normally. Which is always good for um, a, a, a YouTube channel. So, uh, hopefully I do end up seeing you guys in the next uh, episode. I think uh, Wednesday. Wednesday is the next uh, live stream. If you want to be a part of it, uh, you can follow me on Facebook, that's where I do my lives, and there's our Byzantine and Mobius ball chain, now we are going on three, um, but I uh, hope that I see you all in the next episode. And I hope that I see you all on Sunday for Pendragon's Twisted Metals. So, uh, I hope that you all have a wonderful evening.